Chat GPT became a thing during November of my third year of medical school. And since then, I've really been trying to use chat as a tool to help me succeed in medical school and beyond. So today I want to tell you about how I used chat GPT to study for step two CK and how I think it helped improve my score. So let's go ahead and get started. So as far as using chat to study for step two, the main way that I used it was to help clarify practice questions that I did. So I was working on, on a lot of the NBME questions, whether from the clinical mastery series or practice tests. And NBME question explanations, in my experience, weren't quite as strong as the UWorld explanations. So what I did is I would copy and paste the text from the NBME question. Usually I would have to take like a screenshot and then copy and paste that text. And for something that I didn't quite understand or I needed clarification on, I would like tell chat or ask chat to explain why XYZ wasn't correct. And I would kind of like the way to use chat is to get really good at asking the right things. So I would, you know, make sure I was very clear on what I didn't understand and then chat would explain it to me. And that really helped me to increase my understanding of the practice questions. I think one of the main keys of doing well on step two is to really understand everything and why the answers to certain things are, are X, Y, Z. So when I would do questions, I would really make sure I understood why the correct answer was correct and why the incorrect answers were incorrect. And I used chat to help me understand that better if I needed to. Um, another thing that I did with chat when I was studying during dedicated was if there was a certain concept that I was struggling with or getting certain things mixed up, like, let me see, for instance, uh, like trolley and taco or transfusion associated circulatory overload and transfusion associated transfusion related acute lung injury. I don't know. I'm getting in anyway, I would sometimes get these guys mixed up. So I would have chat come up with questions. Like I would have it, I would tell it to write me an NBME step two style question about trolley and taco and making me like understand one versus the other. I would do this with several other topics as well. And that really helped improve my understanding of the concepts. And that way um, I could have a bunch of questions up front and really learn the, the content rather than seeing it come up randomly throughout my studying, which I still did. It would still come up randomly throughout my questions as I was doing more and more practice tests. But if I really noticed a deficiency, I could just test it right then and there and ask questions. Um, yeah, so I thought that was really helpful in terms of using chat to help me study for step two. Let me think if I did anything else with chat in terms of studying for step two. I think the main things were in clarifying things for me and in terms of, of like, of answering or like asking me more questions. I hope you can't hear that, that's very loud. But yeah, those, those were the main things. If I think of anything else, maybe I'll write it in the description. I don't want to like belabor the video if I'm out of ideas, but I thought that for, for studying for step two, it was truly invaluable to have it explain things to me in ways that I could better understand. Um, you can also tell chat to explain things to you in a simple way or explain things to you as a fourth year medical student. You, you can really get very specific in how you ask it to um, do things for you. And I think that it's very valuable now as medical future professionals to learn how to use chat because I think AI is part of our future. So yeah, anyway, I hope this can be helpful for you and, and help you to do better on your shelf exams or step two and good luck.